generally speaking, um, stable tachycardias are going to be those where the patient is minimally symptomatic and has an adequate blood pressure and no signs of hypoperfusion. Now, the most underappreciated sign of hypoperfusion is going to be mental status changes. So, I would say I, I people I would say generally maybe underappreciate uh, patients who are who are poor perfused. We often I think tolerate patients being a little underperfused relative to what we could do. So that would be just generally a plug I would make is is have a low threshold to kind of consider patients unstable if they have any sign of mental status changes, if they're describing ischemic sounding chest pain, uh, if they're ill in appearance, or if their blood pressure is low for them. Remembering that a 85 year old uh, guy who's on multiple blood pressure medications, who has a blood pressure of 100 systolic, is probably hypotensive for him. You know, even if even if uh, technically he has an adequate uh, adequate blood pressure. So that's a general philosophical statement I would make about that. The second thing is, um, in the truly unstable patient, of course, you're going to proceed rapidly towards uh, a synchronized cardioversion for majority of these patients. But whenever possible, if you can get a 12 lead EKG, that is very very helpful because there will be times when getting the high quality 12 lead may be the only chance we really have to get a thorough kind of documentation of what exactly that rhythm was uh, before it was treated and that can have real implications for how the patient's managed after they're in the ER or in the, even during their hospitalization or something like that. So of course a patient who's crumping in front of you you're going to move, move rapidly to, to cardiovert them but if at all possible a, a plug to get a 12 lead EKG, it's 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 incredibly it's incredibly valuable in these patients.